Tom, how much of this dome show did you see? I have seen virtually all of it except for the main event. Wow. Because I've been at the car dealership where they've had my car for a week. I spent $2,000 to fix it, and I start driving home, and the light's still on. Check engine system. So now I'm going to have to head back to the dealership, and someone's going to get their system checked by filthy Tom Lawler. Because not only am I upset about that, but I'm bitter. I'm mad because I had to sit home and watch a night of spectacular wrestling action in the Tokyo Dome instead of being there. But I digress. My mood my mood quickly changes when I think about the New Japan Rambo and one Hayato Jr. Fujita fighting in that Rambo. Wow. The best story in pro wrestling, if you know it. The man was diagnosed with a spinal tumor six years ago. He has made his way back to the ring. <clears throat> a protege of Kid Yamamoto, of all people, Brian. Yeah, that's true. It's all true. I didn't see the uh, Rambo. Well, he didn't He didn't make it to the final four. Mm. Yeah, but. Great Okan, Taiji Shimori, Toriyano, and Yo won the Rambo. And, uh, yeah, I was watching the end of Dynamite. And I don't regret it because of that Darby Allen match. We'll get to that later. So, uh, quick results from the show. I saw the first seven matches. TJP and friend Shesko Akira beat Clark Connors and Drilla Maloney. Kind of. To win the IWGP Junior Tag Team titles. And it's funny because, like, the uh, you know, they come out and Clark and Drill have got brand new belts. And they've got white straps and they've got their white jackets and everything on. And the announcers are putting up putting this big deal about how they just they just got brand new matching belts to go with their outfits. And then they proceeded to immediately lose the belts. I was like, that sucks. To TJP dressed as the Aswang. Yeah. Filipino, I probably said that way wrong, but Filipino bat monster of some sorts. He's got a creepy mask on, and <laughs> it was weird. Yeah, didn't didn't really go that long. It was nine nine minutes thirty eight seconds, but I mean it was all right. I I just uh, and then that was that was like the beginning of the rest of the show, where it's like if you wear white, it's going to be a bad night for you, brother, because everybody wearing white from that point on, they just got beat. So then we had uh, the president of New Japan, Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Zack Sabre Jr. This was for the New Japan Television Championship, New Japan World. And, uh, of course, the first champion was Zack Sabre Jr. A title, Brian, that was introduced for younger wrestlers on the card yeah. in a faster-paced style. Yes. yes, One year ago. Zack won it a year ago. He never lost it. And then he goes in there with Tanahashi. And they had their usual very good match. I mean, it was only nine minutes, but, you know, the technical wrestling... Is so good. And then uh, they're trading cradles and Tanahashi pinned him. So, in fact, Tanahashi, President Tanahashi, is now the television champion. Got to put the guy over. He's president. I mean, come on. Then we had Yuya Uemura and Yota Suji. And, you know, Yota Suji should have been in the main event defending the title, but he wasn't. But he's in here facing Yuya Uemura. And uh, he's got so much charisma, and he's so great, and then he gets beat. Yuya Uemura beats him in a big upset. And the crowd was like, huh? They were, like, shocked when Uemura pinned him. But uh, I think they I forget the number they said. They said something like, this is our 47th match together. I was like, golly. And after this, they said for the first time, Yuya Uemura is one step ahead of Yoda Suji. No, he's not. He just got a pin on him in one of their 47 matches. Hit him with the deadbolt. Listen, I like Yuya Urimura, but uh, he is not one step ahead of Yoda Suji right now. I'm sorry. Then we had House of Torture versus Shota Umino and Kaito Kiyomiya. And it pretty much sucked. It's a House of Torture match. Interference, gimmicks, all that crap. Did Dick Togo break out the chop? He did. 
he oh, did. He, he did. I get. I, I missed this I mean, can match, I say this I guess on I'm the air? have to go back and watch. I don't think you can. Okay, I'll just say he did the Johnson to the Johnson is what he did. Is that all right? I should clear these things with Dom. But, yeah. Then we had Tamatanga and Shingo for the never open weight title. And uh, the thing with New Japan is, like, sometimes it's just like I just keep seeing the same thing over and over again. It's like last year on this show, Tamatanga won the never open weight title. Well, a year later, Tamatanga won the never open weight title. This time he beats Shingo. This match ruled, by the way. Yes. This match was awesome. And it had great heat. It had great near falls. I mean, it was so good. Tamatanga looked great. Shingo's just unbelievable. The the counter that Tamatanga did into the gun stun from the Made in Japan yeah, was you know, insanity. I didn't know exactly what he was doing, but... Uh, like when he set up the uh the made in japan tama had his arm in the wrong place i should say, like the wrong it was a counter place. it was a counter i know and so i but when he first started doing the main japan i was like why is it why does it have his arm there that looks weird and it was the reason was he he uh he transitioned into the gun stun and he pinned him won the never open weight title this not with that awesome. That was no, like no, no. That, that was match. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a plenty more awesome counters, and then in a bizarre twist, Tama Tong is leaving. I don't know. That's what they said here, but uh, I was unaware of that. I guess he said that he is going to find a job closer to home. Mm. Well, he said it, but that doesn't mean, bro. Do you guys remember when uh, Juice Robinson was going to quit? He Jane came White. on this show, and then he actually. Ended up re-signing with New Japan. So, we'll, we'll see what the guy says and what he actually does. Then we had uh, El Desperado and Hiromu, which uh, I didn't see these matches, but uh, Desperado uh, won the title. This match was awesome. Third time. As well. Yeah. A lot of counters. They got right down to the business. Well, a lot of these matches only had 10 to 15 minutes, so... From what I've seen, I haven't seen the main event, but there was not a lot of long, drawn-out opening, you know, slow sequences. Everybody kind of got right down to action, and this match delivered. Desperado hit him with the most disgusting sit-out pinche loco like a pile driver before he finished him off with another one. And Desperado tries to lay his claim to being amongst the all-time IWGP junior heavyweight greats like Satoru Sayama, Jushin Liger, Hiromu Takahashi. And uh, as I mentioned that, I want to say on commentary, I listened to both the Japanese and English, varying which match I was watching. But Rocky Romero was great. Walker Stewart was great. Out of all people, he reminds me of Brian. I don't know why, but he reminds me of listening to Jeff Osborne. Jeff so, Osborne. Yeah. How I don't about I don't know. Hook yeah. and shoot? Yes. Huh. <laughs> and uh I just thought I thought everything that I saw on this show was great. All right, we'll be back in a moment with more Observer Live. Back on the show, Brian Elber is here, Wrestling Observer Live, Filthy Tom Lawler is here. We had David Finley. Beating Will Ospreay and John Moxley to win the IWGP Global Heavyweight Championship. Obviously, Will Ospreay is on the way out. He did the job here in this match. Finley is expected new champion. And uh, what did you think of this one? Chaos. Yeah. From start to finish, had a lot of the usual three man tropes, although they did start off. Moxley and Will Ospreay both beating up David Finley like they promised to. But once it got down to action, there was a lot of creative spots. The War Dogs did a run-in seemingly to help Finley walk away with the title, but they were thwarted and were put through table by Will Ospreay. Alex Coughlin comically stuck in the table, sitting up like he's in the bathtub. And then Finley did win the title i thought he was going to win with the trash panda however he turned it into a new move i don't know the name but it was a new finish basically a stalling vertical suplex into a knee strike reminiscent of the gts 
in many ways. And Finley is your actually. New did you watch? Did you watch Dynamite? I watched some of it. Explain this move again. He lifted him up for a vertical, and then he put him down and hit a knee. Okay. To the face. Because somebody did some variation of that on Dynamite, and actually there was a light CM Punk champ because it was it looked so much like the GTS. Who was that? Anyway. So, yeah, afterwards, uh, they were doing the press conference, and David Finley gets attacked by, of all people, Nick Nemeth. Well, he did get a Nick Nemeth's face ringside. Nemeth was sitting ringside with the other people from the Asian conglomerate of wrestling companies that they've recently put together in cooperation with And his brother. Japan. Yeah, they were both there, and uh, Finley and he got into it there. So, looks like they're headed towards a title showdown for that global belt they sure are we had okada beating brian danielson as pretty much everybody expected given the finish of their first match and uh how was this one fantastic best match on the show i presume was it better than shingo and tamatanga yeah i was just gonna say i don't know because shingo and tamatanga was fantastic and it was like about 10 minutes shorter than this match um, although, I mean, this match was great, too. Danielson worked over the arm of Okada. Okada fired back with his big offense. He he was desperate. He had a great desperation rainmaker at one point, and then he was able to capitalize later on with a flurry of offense. I believe a landslide, the Cobra Flosion, and then finally put him away with a, one last rainmaker and got the win. And then the main event was Naito beating Sonata to win the IWGP, yes. Also say, Brian, this Daniel, Brian Danielson fella. Yeah. He was kicking Okada as hard as humanly possible. This guy does not look like it's pleasurable to be in the ring with him whatsoever. Brutal. This match was well. You know, I've I've heard that when you wrestle Brian Danielson, you better be ready to work because uh, he is a machine. So uh, that reminds me of something I've heard. You remember the IGF, the Inoki Genome yes. Federation? I've heard that many of those matches you were forced basically to shoot at the beginning, mm. right? And so it's very reminiscent of that in many ways. You got to fight Brian Danielson. Full force. First says, maybe this is why he keeps getting injured. Well, you know, there is a reason that it's worked. And that's because if you're going to work a lot of matches, you don't see UFC fighters every week. They don't fight every week. Be be bad. Uh, be a bad idea. Naito beats not in the main event. IWGP Heavyweight Title. Neither of us have seen it yet. I'm watching all of these matches uh, probably in about an hour. And uh, we'll do the full recap with Dave later on tonight. As noted, the uh, Vinny show, he recapped everything as well this morning. So you can check those out. But, hey, what I saw, I really liked. And, yeah, uh, I, I heard the main event went off the rails and then got back on the rail and had... How to go off the rails. a great last 10 minutes. Yeah. I don't like to hear things going off the rails. Brian says it was good, but not the best match on the show. DJ says it was sloppy. Ryan says Naito can't do the Destino anymore. Well, the thing with the Destino is it's all the other guy, really. Like, you just got to go up and the other guy does the rest. So uh, that would be on Sonata if uh, Destino didn't look good. So I'll watch it. I'll decide. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.